With more than a century of operating experience in all six continents, Cable and Wireless has built up a unique know-how of the two sides of communications, hardware and vital engineers. For over a hundred years, in a corner of Britain rich in telecommunications history, the group has taught the latest techniques. Here in Forth Kernow, Cornwall, were landed many of the earliest international cables. And by the year 1900, it was the centre for Britain's overseas links. So, with 150 operators in its heyday, it became the chief training ground for technicians and engineers. Since then, Cable and Wireless has built up the world's largest college devoted solely to teaching and training in international telecommunications, which is backed up with regional colleges in the Caribbean, the Middle East and the Far East. Today, Fourth Kernow is geared to the latest developments and it provides more than 130 different specialised courses. Its standards are internationally recognised and it was recently inspected by the Secretary General of the International Telecommunications Union, Monsieur Mohamed Mili. Welcome to Fourth Kono Engineering College. Thank you very much. Thank you. Representing the major telecommunications authorities in the world. And you have the students coming from everywhere, I assume. Uh, yes, we have people from uh, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Solomon Island, Tonga uh, yes. West Indies, yeah. Africa, yes. um, Seychelles. Seychelles. The college has nearly 40 tutors, so its tutor-student ratio is high and it's able to supply a course on most subjects at short notice. Indeed, half the students at the college are on special modular courses, built up from one or more subjects as required by a particular client or project. Oh, Bill, I was just checking the capacity on the Telex Exchange maintenance course. And it looks as if we're going to have to timetable an additional course for you. Sometime. Registrar Keith Wolf is expert at solving problems of matching lecturers, students and dates, and reckons to be able, within minutes, to accommodate any request for no more than a month ahead. So there's plenty of room for your guy. Yes, there would be, but unfortunately that's the other engineer on this. The one he's setting up now is for a single engineer of a customer on a modern telex exchange. Modern telex networks are all computer-based, along with message switching and airport information systems. Cable and wireless has set up many of these advanced systems all around the world. But engineers sent for training on these systems often require first a study of the basic principles of computer control. When you've finished the um, substitute memory, you press execute, and then the thing is available for another time. This can readily be arranged at Porth Kernow, because classes at several levels are running most of the year. OK, Lee, what seems to be the trouble? The problem is that the smart program is running continuously. Teaching is on a variety of units, from the arithmetic logic unit to a setup involving a microprocessor board from a modern telex exchange. Look, it's jumping back to the wrong place. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, here we are. It should be coming back to here and not there. The aim of the course okay. is to give a thorough understanding of the logical and electronic principles involved and to work quickly towards actual practice. I've connected the logic analyzer to the processor board and the fault is displaying itself as the continuous printing of the letter A on the VDU. Mm -hmm. Soon, they'll be examining such things as waveforms from a logic analyzer to a computer a computer which is an integral part of the telex exchange and which has to be understood first. Now I want you to go back to the board. There is a simulated fault put on it, the kind of situation an engineer in the field would have to cope with. So that by the time the students get to the telex exchange itself, they will appreciate its basic principles and the fact that a unit such as this, through its use of time division multiplexing, can easily handle a thousand calls simultaneously. We'll bring the tape up to BOT, which is beginning of tape. There it stopped. I'll now put the tape unit online. And if you would like to connect the tape unit to the processor. In all courses, the aim is to have the students doing as much as possible for themselves from the very beginning. Shall I get it to read the boot file and core image now? Okay, 
Exchanges are in a constant state of development, and the college keeps an eye on all the latest trends. When it's finished reading in the core image, we should see a hiccup on the teleprinter. There's the hiccup. So if you'd like to type Control R, it's done standby to online. The system is now running. We can check this by trying to make a telex call from that teleprinter. But whatever the form of the hardware, the principles of electronic switching and computer control remain the same, with the end requirement to connect subscriber to subscriber swiftly and efficiently. Up here, over there. So we know the exchange is running. If necessary, training could start at a more elementary stage, at basic electronics. Basic and advanced electronics courses are running almost continuously. Again, there are usually two groups of students at different stages at any moment in the year. The laboratories are particularly well set up. Students work in pairs, and every pair has a complete set of equipment and instruments needed to carry out exercises and experiments. But usually, engineers sent to Porth Kerno on individual courses are fully trained in general communications and simply require training in a special field. One in constant demand is on mobile radio. Such equipment is today being installed to serve a wide variety of networks for business organizations and government users police and emergency services, public utilities, airport authorities and so on. I'm positioned at the top of the cliff to the west of the Manac The characteristics of its propagation have to be fully understood and a basic exercise is to check and plot signal strength across a varied countryside. Around Porth Kerno, with its cliffs and valleys, is an excellent testing ground. Position, please, and give me five seconds of continuous carrier. Over. I have walked along the cliffs beyond the Minai Theatre and I'm now ready for... The area is outstandingly beautiful throughout the seasons and it attracts many visitors in the summertime. But all the year round, sport is available at the college, from tennis to badminton, football and athletics. Engineers coming to the college will get thrown together with others from many countries and many races with a wide range of ages. Each has his own single study bedroom and all have one major interest, telecommunications. Yeah, generation frequency graph. What sort of bandwidth do you get in Examples of virtually all kinds of equipment used throughout the world will be found at Port Kerno. And we've got to use the best or zero method, which you know about. Uh -huh. Here, a multi-channel UHF transmitter receiver, a setup which is used all over the world for medium capacity links, perhaps by an oil company along the route of its pipeline, or for public service between smaller islands. restores the pilot now. You can see that we actually have... All such equipment has its special problems and critical adjustments, which must be thoroughly understood and mastered. ...start adjusting it wrongly and end up with completely wrong deviation. For major international links today, the Earth Station is preeminent, and in this field, Cable and Wireless has outstanding experience, having installed and run up more than 30 throughout the world. Both the large Standard A, as here in Hong Kong, and the smaller but highly efficient Standard B, as in Botswana and many other countries. Liquid nitrogen, needed for an essential feature of Earth Station equipment, the parametric amplifier in the aerial system, which will only work well if maintained at very low temperature. Port Kerno's laboratory houses examples of all the units found in a working station. And while a lot of the equipment is the same as used for ordinary microwave and tropospheric scatter terminals, students will get trained in all the special aspects such as setting up the deviation of an FM modulator used in a standard A station. Mm -hmm. What's the mod index there on now? Uh, 5.6. Or checking the workout of selective calling equipment used by the engineers to check the circuits via satellite. Here, it's employed on single channel per carrier equipment, the very latest technology, all digital, used on standard B stations. Okay, let's clear down and you can make all back. Sure. Let's check the first circuit. I want you to go into the ITSC here and key in the country code and code 102. 
But what the Earth station sends out in the way of signals and information needs careful checking from the moment it leaves the subscriber. In a few moments, we'll see switching taking place on these lines. The International Maintenance Centre, controlling telephone unit, circuits, we'll exactly as set up here in Porth Kernow, is an integral part of many installations. You can hear the test tone coming back. You can pick the circuit up over here, there's... The IMC is necessary to maintain, measure and monitor the happenings on all the circuits going to a particular destination. 1.4 dB low. That's out of specification. So we clear the call down, recall the Hong Kong technician and do a complete nightmare. Right. Now, John and Roberto... I'd Probably the most rapidly expanding use for international circuits is in data transmission. With a pseudo-random pattern generated at 63. And in this field, the college offers courses based on the most up-to-date equipment. You'd like to go ahead with that. It's an area where the technology is developing very fast. When you finish putting the information on the screen... The setup here is simulating transmission between two major stations, Hong Kong to Bahrain. Information is tapped out and displayed on a VDU in Hong Kong, passed via time division multiplex equipment, then through a modem which converts the digital signal to analog, transmitted via a standard telephone channel, and so to the other station and a reverse process, so that it reappears on the Bahrain VDU screen. Going to single, both be fast, printing five to seven. But often what is required is printout, and electronic machines are needed to match today's high speeds. At Porth Kernow, the importance of this field is recognized and special courses are available to teach the latest techniques and maintenance. How are you getting on? Well, uh, I'm just um, checking 5 volt logic and it's in OB. Fine, let's have a look at the 12 volts. Go on to the top of D1. I'll switch off the blue gun. Closed circuit television is widely used in applications ranging from airport security to hotel oh, entertainment blue systems. Blue and television pictures have to be handled by most earth stations. So it's essential for engineers to learn the principles of the electronic colour picture, how it's made up, and how to adjust all the apparatus to get it correct. Well done, that's good convergence. And then, to learn about the faults which they may meet in practice due to transmission or other well, problems. Have a typical transmission fault. The bottom set is our programme as transmitted, and the top set is showing us the earth station relay signal. How will we go about ascertaining the nature and origin of our fault? Well, it looks like a frame fault because it's the same frequency, or about the same frequency, as a field as it moves down. Right. How about the origin of the fault? Well, looking at this, we have to uh, determine whether it's at the transmission end or at the receiving end or online. Now, we can do this by taking out the picture content. Yes, sure. I see from this that, um, whilst the picture content is gone, the fault still lies there. Therefore, we would assume that the fault is either online or at the receiver. OK, any more information about the nature of the fault? Well, Mr Milley, what are your impressions so far of your visit? For the equipment, for instance, I am uh, very impressed by the qualities of the equipment and the, uh, the number of equipment uh, for telecommunication. So it is very, very important for the students to have a hand Whatever subject a young student may wish to start, or a mature student to develop, Fourth Kernel can offer a course based in the most up-to-date equipment.